In this episode, we built a very wide bridge, a very wide tunnel, and a very thin road. Hello everyone, it is California Bird with another exciting episode of Transport Fever. And we are back in the city of Hartlepool, where we have been uh, hard at work trying to fix the city's infrastructure, which uh, desperately needs fixing, like this, for example. Um, but yeah, it's been uh, it's been going. It's been a thing. Go ahead and drop that in right there. All right, but what we need to do is fix this bridge. This basically glorified one-lane bridge that is connecting the mecca that is this side of the city with the kind of smaller area that is that side uh we also did put in some trucks and hopefully some goods will start showing up for that but i don't think there's anything just yet probably has to you know the whole all the whole lines that feed into everything need to uh be made aware of it my gosh we have a lot of cash right now so with all this cash let's like build an actual bridge right and you might think oh this is easy you could just like switch over to the highways and like wabam a lamp. No, you can't because it's gonna freak out about these bridge pillars. So what we're gonna have to actually do, which is a good thing we have all this cash, let's pause real fast. Because we're gonna break so many lines. We're gonna have to rip out so much stuff. Like absolutely insane amounts of of things. Millions and millions of dollars. Because this bridge is too small. So pull that out. I mean we'll just start. We'll just start doing it. You don't think I will? But we can't pull that out because of a bridge pillar collision, right? That comes out. That comes out. That comes out. Yeah, I know, right? So sad. So much cash, right? That's why you should put in nice bridges to start with. Now, we we'll also fix this little bit over here. Go ahead and lower this down. Actually, we'll go ahead and... Let's see, there's nothing on this track, so I'll just pop that out. Fix... Fix the soil, and then fix that. I don't know why the game does that on some cases. If anyone does know why, it'd be great to know, like on a technical level, why the game decides that tracks can do that. But it's fine. It is absolutely okay. Because we have the magic tool of pausing time and not having to reroute trains. It's great. It's absolutely great. So we'll just go ahead and plop that right back in. All right. Now, what do we need? Well, we also need... To, let's see. We need to upgrade this little bit. Well, actually, let's pop that. Pull that out. There we go. Look at that. It's fixed. Except now the two sides are not connected. So, what we will do, and this is actually, we're going to do an extra large highway. Going from one end to the other. Let's do it. This might actually be easier than, than I believed it would be. Okay, I say that. I say that, but no. Okay, so... First step is... Uh, to put this in. So instead of going down, we're going to be going up. Alright, try to get altitude over everything. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't. Nope. Okay, so what we're going to do... We're going to lower this dirt down. Again, so that way it builds pillars for us. And, uh, and yeah, let's do that. We'll go ahead and start back here once again with our huge highway. And there we go. Kind of like that, but kind of not like that. Let's go ahead and try that. Go straight. There we go. Like that. Okay. And then go right across. Nope. Not super happy about doing that. No, nope. Come on. You can do this. There it is. And then we'll just go right straight across all the tracks. Let's see, but with a bit of a curve. There you go. Just like that. Kind of bring it down a little. Don't need to be crazy high in the sky. Oh dear, nope. Is 
Let's see, go with that and then bring it in. And we do need to, uh, I guess, pull that out. Uh, that's going to be expensive. There we go. Just like so. And then we can put this in. No, that, that won't work. So we'll pull that out. And what we'll actually do is put in just, I mean, just a small road to get across here. Can we do it? Let's see. It claims there's too much slope. Let's let's see. And we can probably go like this. Uh doesn't need to go down there. Is that too much slope? Shouldn't be I mean we might as well just pull out these buildings and start again. Right? So Go ahead and actually let's start on this side and try to get something going. Let's lower the train down quite a bit over here. Just lower that all down. Equalize it out. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a highway and go basically up and over the tracks. That's going to be the goal if we can. Let's see, we can go like that. And then go over. Nope. Got a little too greedy. Got a little too close to the tracks. So I have to try that one more time. Go ahead and smoothen that out. Put in a road like this. Go around. Let's see. Let's start going up. And there we go. And we actually keep it flat and just pop it up like that. Nope. Okay, I'll make this a little shorter-ish. Alright, that's kind of weird, but we'll do it. Pull that out now. And head on. I guess we did need that little bit. Um... Okay, let's lower this dirt over here. That we trick it and get a bridge pillar in. Yep, there we go. So there we go. So now we have a highway. Connecting that and that. And then we'll just put in a city street. Right off over here. And maybe it's not going to be super happy about that. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Cool beans. So there's that. And we actually make this not a highway now. And just make this a city street. Oh, oh I should have just did an upgrade on that. Sure, and I have. Yup. But, oh well. Put that in. Kind of make it a little curvy. Curve it a little bit back. And then just go nice and straight. Not very straight. Ah, kind of works. Alright, there we go. And maybe we'll get some buildings popping up over here. Ah, uh, there we go. And actually, let's just run this all the way down. We don't need to make it go into the tunnel. It'll just go right over. There we go. And then kind of underneath. Let's see. Bring in a road. Not like that. Kind of like that. Yep. Not exactly. Kind of like that. And curve it over. Nope. It's uh... Come on. You can squeak by there. You can do it there. Like that. That seems really... There it is. And actually it doesn't need to go that crazy. What we'll do... Instead is pull this like so. There we go. Perfect. And then a four lane bridge. Right over this track. If we can uh if we can get it. I don't know if we will be able to. Probably not. Uh let's see here. 
Doesn't seem to want to put in something here. There it is. All right, we'll go with that. And then have this actually be a bit more of an aggressive turn. Um, into this one. There we go. There we go. That's not convoluted at all. But I mean, that now we have kind of like a little mediary way through the city. Actually, we could just make that a highway instead, right? Keep the speeds up. Can we upgrade this? Yeah, we could just make this a highway. Just for going through the city basically pretty quickly. I don't really want the bridge to become a highway. But there we go. Highway that up. And then... Down here make that... I guess do that and make it a four lane. Over here. On this bridge. And it's not going to be happy about that. Whatever. We'll just go with it. There we go. And we'll keep time moving. Look at all this. All these trains over here. That's crazy. Such train. Much wow. Actually, this train getting pretty old, isn't it? 66 years old. Oh dear. We need to upgrade that train. We also need to fix this road over here. Yeah. Just a wee bit. Uh, let's see. But first, let's take this out. Pause again. Let's make this a four lane road. Highway. Thing. That will go up and over like so. Can we can we get it? Thinking it's not gonna be super happy about this. What if we go across a little bit better? I don't know why it's uh, having an issue there. Yeah, I mean, like, it should, everything should be good. I don't see the issue. I mean, I know the tracks are a bit disjointed there, but... Odd. Okay. Well, we need to move this over anyway. This tunnel needs to shift over slightly anyway, so... We'll go like that. And then we'll take... Get rid of that. And what we'll do now is we'll make this a large street. Feeds into this highway. There we go. Like so. And then. What we're going to do is upgrade this highway. At least in this section. Where this tunnel is. So. We'll pull out the tunnel end here. Now can we upgrade. This to be. A large thing. We can. Oh wait, no, 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 that's not the one I wanted. This one. No, it does not, it does not like that. What about this one? Yeah, so it, we need to take out both ends of the tunnel, basically. All right, so go ahead and make this a super wide highway. Cause why not? There it is. Okay, so now go ahead and pull this up, out. We go a bit lower in slope. Um, oh, it's because of that ex exit, isn't it? Uh, let's go ahead and equalize this out. Get rid of that. There we go. That should hopefully make this work a bit better. Now, if we don't go up that fast, right? Go down. There we go. Bit of a longer tunnel exit going on. I think if we do that actually let's do it from the other direction right let's try to go down uh it's not super happy about that okay no don't don't go plunging down let's actually yeah let's go up There we go, like that. There we go. That's the highway we want. And then we'll just pull this out. Is there, see, that puts the tunnel in. 
Actually, that one little bit, maybe I shouldn't have pulled out. Nope, there we go. There it is. There is the tunnel we want. And then, if we go over to this side, I need to do a similar thing. Here, pull that out. And then fix the... Over here, so that way it doesn't freak out. And then plop in a tunnel. Right, so we can't go up that crazy. Uh, what if we go down and then pull this up? There we go. go with yes. And we'll do is pull that little bit out. And that little bit out. So we kind of have the tunnel face. In there. And then pull this right up here. And try to get it over the... Uh, See, it's not. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Try that. Pull that out. Let's see if we can make this happen. Nope, it's not gonna like that. So, let's see here. Uh, I... I am not knowing. Uh, let's see. Pull that out once more. Oh dear. Yeah, see, it just wants to cross at this point. If we go thinner, doesn't help at all, actually. Let's see. We could just keep the tunnel under this track, too. Yeah, actually, let's do that. So, what we're going to do, pull that bit out. Pull that bit out. And just pull this instead of coming up. Stay low. Maybe pull out a little bit more. Go right underneath. There it is. Oh. There it is. Okay, so we'll go with that. We need to curve a little bit over. Here we go with that. Cool. Alright, so then now, pull that out. And just have this come right over like so. It actually looks pretty bad, doesn't it? Uh, we'll make this a little bit more of a gentler curve. There we go. Alright, perfect. Go ahead and let time go forward again, and we'll go ahead and fix out all this absolute mess that's going on over here. Just make this nice and gentle. And ignore all the stuff that happened. None of it happened. It was just a bad dream. There we go. Go ahead and fix that a little. Oh, and we should actually, though, put in a... Maybe a, another large highway that comes out this side. And comes up like so. Actually, was that the right slope? I didn't even check. Do that again. Let's uh let's actually redo that. Pull this back up. Equalize this once again. Kind of. Um, and then put the highway down here. Oh, that is, it was at the max. 
I, okay. And go like so. And there's a hill here, isn't there? Yep. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. Right up to there. And then we can put in some city streets. Come after this. So this will just go into a extra large street. Which will not do that. Oh, instead. Uh, go like so. And then we'll put a bridge in over here. Like so. And run this over here. There we go. So now we have two super huge main thoroughfares kind of coming in. And the city can hopefully grow out this way. Go ahead and put in another really just large street. I guess should be fine. And then off to a more normal size street over here. With some medium streets coming off like so. Like so. And uh, yeah, well, they can worry about that themselves. Anyway, hopefully that helps with a bit of city growth. We'll see what happens though. I mean, new buildings. Look at all these new buildings that are popping up. So many new buildings. Probably because things are showing up. Yeah, look at this. These are all good. Well, let's just put on the... Better if we just put this on, right? Look, it's all in like the industrial and commercial area. Now that there's... Instead of just having buses, now that we have like city trucks driving things around. Are they actually delivering anything? No, they're not. Oh, this guy has construction materials. So they are moving some stuff. There we go. See? So lots of buildup in in the city so that is really good okay cool and these buses i don't know what they're doing no path oh dear so the bus line got broken i did end up doing that didn't i um let's try and fix that real fast can this go up here let's see uh well first off let's pull this out and let's put in There we go. Actually, can we make this four lane? Upgrade, no. Oh, oh, we can. There we go. That's expensive. We're not, we're not upgrading to that. Can we uh, do a two lane? Not that it really helps. Actually, let's put a bus lane on that and a bus lane on that. There we go. Oh yeah, I didn't bus lane this, did I? So let's go ahead and fix that real fast. I just put bus lanes on this and that for the bridge. Put a bus lane there. All right, it doesn't need to be huge. And these are city streets now. There you go, bus lanes. They're a thing. All right, cool beans. Uh, yeah, there and there. And around they go and back to here and then they go across the bridge and yeah oh and this needs to upgrade to a four lane yeah four lane would be good for that spot okay now let's let time go forward and hopefully things are not complaining yeah things are moving again that's good so now there are once again buses and uh, trucks and stuff going on here and wow, time went by really fast. I didn't realize that doing all this would be would take as much time as it did. Wow, that's a long time. Anyway, it's a train. Yeah, it seems like train lines are so much easier to do than redoing like entire cities, like road infrastructure networks when they've been neglected basically this entire time. So yeah, let's just go ahead and fix that up. Uh, but yeah, now we've got tunnels. I mean, more tunnels, more things. We don't have crossings over here. Things are getting better, I think. I think they are. Nice, fast train. Doing its thing, carrying logs and whatnot. And yeah, so we need to put more trains on the main loop. I think we'll probably end it with doing that. Let's just go ahead and find, or on the main cargo loop, I should say. So let's just go ahead and find a cargo station, which is over here. And it's got the crossovers, so that is good. 
And what we're going to have to do is, let's see. Figure out what trains these guys are running. Uh, let's go to Railroad. And let's see. Cargo Loop. Clockwise is making money. Counterclockwise. Oh, it needs more trains, doesn't it? So, two locomotives, seven goods, seven. Okay, so what we'll do is we're going to buy a train. Let's actually give it a color. I haven't been colorizing these guys. Let's make this cargo train uh, orange. No, that's kind of like brown, isn't it? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. Let's just see what it looks like. So we'll do the locomotive as we do. And then seven of... Well, actually, let's just... I know they have. we have one at the end and one at the other end. Instead of doing that, we'll just make these doubles. Plop that down. And then... We'll remove the thing and we'll go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. One, two, three, four, five of those. And one, two, three, four, five of those. And there we go. So we're at 320. Let's duplicate that once, twice, three times a lady, right? That puts us at eight on that one. And this one has one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, let's just get an eighth, right? All right. So clockwise, we'll get one more train. Clockwise, cargo. And counterclockwise, we'll get the rest. So counterclockwise, cargo. Counterclockwise, cargo. Counterclockwise, cargo. And I know what you're going to say. They're all going to be bunched up on each other. Yes, they will be. But it's going to be okay. Why will it be okay? I, because I said so, that's why. Uh, okay, maybe this brown wasn't the best of choices. Thought it would be kind of like a coppery color. It is a very not coppery color. Well, actually, uh, it depends on how the light's hitting it. It's not the worst. Actually, that maybe it's not the worst. Okay, so there we go. So there is our brand new trains that we will be running on the loop. So, cool beans. This one is going clockwise. Yeah, which makes sense. It's going down that way. And then the other trains will be coming out. So, cool beans. This highway is getting backed up, but, I mean, it's okay. Oh, we should extend the buses to come all the way up here, shouldn't we? Because we're stopping the buses down in Kellysworth. We can have it go up to Horsham and up to Ventnor. Wouldn't that be cool? Go ahead and check on this other line really fast. There's food waiting! Yay! Progress. One food. I mean, that's progress, though. This guy's carrying one food. Okay. Lame. 64 food. What's going on? We should carry more livestock. Uh, 21. Is production, like, ceased down here? Is it low? No upgrade or downgrade. What? I don't understand. We should carry more things. I mean, the line doesn't look like it's saturated. I don't think it's saturated. Let's bring in food. I mean, there's food sitting here now waiting for this guy to take it. I don't know. Oh well. Oh well. We're making money and that is all that is important. JK. JK. I mean there's other things that's important. But that's the main thing that's important. Now where did those car- there's the cargo trains. So now they're coming out. I mean they're causing some backup on the line. Pulling all these cargo trains out of that depot. Let's actually drop on a signal. Just to prevent this from kind of happening. Put a signal here to prevent the trains, right? Just so that way they don't go blocking loops, the loop. But I mean, this one going out is okay as well. So then out comes this guy. Let him pass in this other one or come over, but he'll stop. It'll be fine. It'll be good. And there we go. So we've got more trains. It's a good thing. All these trains and also this electric guy. The electric ones are catching up <laughs> with the uh, non-electric ones. They have the same top speed, but the acceleration really brings them in close. Uh, but again, they're much more expensive. So good to get the diesel electrics on the cargo line, which this guy is. And he's heading off. And also give some nice buffer between these two trains. That'd be good. And this guy will pick up absolutely nothing over here. Because there's no cargo to be picked up in Horsham. It's just a drop-off point. But yeah. Pretty, pretty good, I think. Hopefully this works out. And hopefully we can get some more industries hooked up. But that's a lot of hoping. Uh, and not a lot of doing. 
But I think we're almost, we're about at the end of the doing for this episode. Let's just go back up here and check out all this cargo mess that is going on. But either way, I think this has been a pretty good episode. Until next time, uh, we're making tons of money, so we have tons of trains to play with now. So, this has been it for this episode of Transport Fever. If you enjoyed this episode, definitely remember to put a like down below. As always, this has been California Bird. See ya.